Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, the WWDC 14 uh, was out today. A lot of cool announcements that Apple has released to the public, and one of the major releases is a new operating system for uh, MacBook devices and uh, MacBooks all around. Uh, it's not going to be coming out pretty soon. It's still in a developer stage, and it's actually the OS X 10.0. 10 Conan Yosemite which is pretty awesome uh, there's three major major concepts that Apple has uh, stressed out a lot during the event and it's the interface apps and also continuity uh, and it's, it's pretty exciting the design has improved throughout the entire operating system uh, Windows uh, the Windows is actually you're able to I kind of see like the windows adapt to the environment a little bit what they were talking about not as much on the way that they stress it but again it's still in developer uh, status but uh, I kind of find that the the window and the transparency between um, the dialog box and everything is pretty cool uh, the icons are extremely different uh, as you can see I already noticed that my Final Cut Pro does not work with this version which I'm pretty upset so it looks like there's a couple of major applications already not going to work with the latest OS so uh, yeah I'm kinda upset my Final Cut Pro is not gonna work I also noticed that photo booth is also not included inside the operating system which is a huge no-no uh, I'm a huge photo photo uh, booth kinda person my son loves playing with it a lot uh, iBooks is still there. They completely changed the icon look of the system preferences. I'm kind of disappointed of the way that they designed the trash. I know Tom, Tim Cook made a couple of jokes about the trash, but I don't know. It looks like a five-year-old created this trash bin. I kind of still, I still like the whole mesh, chrome, metal look of the old trash bin, but you know, that's me. Uh, I did notice that the finer looks like the old OS 9 version. I don't know what that, I don't know the kind of idea or the concept of that. They probably are going to change that. Uh, dark mode, which was also introduced, which is an interesting kind of feature, which allows you to view your screen or read text in the dark. I'm still trying to find how to enable that, but from what I've been reading throughout the forums, on the developer side, it looks like that feature hasn't been fully enabled and pushed out to the developers yet. So hopefully when an update comes up, I'm going to show you guys how that works out. Now, one of the major revamps of this operating system is the notification center. It looks like the notifi notification center has a calendar of all your latest stuff, uh, gives you weather, uh, gives you reminders, stocks, and whatever events you have for tomorrow. As you can see, I don't have no events uh, you're able to edit this information as you can see and add any calendar social events like Twitter Facebook I think those are the kind of stuff that you are able to integrate into your notifications which is pretty cool you, you can actually go into the App Store and um, have third-party apps integrated into your notification center which is awesome this is pretty cool I kind of like this a lot as you can see I've been downloading a couple of torrents but uh, sue me on that one uh, but the notification stuff has improved a lot, which is cool. Another cool feature is Spotlight. Now, Spotlight has been revamped completely. Uh, no more getting that nice little drop down, a uh, little window of the text box to enter into your in to enter your information into. Uh, now you, you're displaying into this big, uh, nice text box that is basically want you to search. Now, from my understanding, Spotlight has been enhanced uh, and integrated with uh, with Docs, Apps, Maps, and Wikipedia. So, uh, if you want to search something like simple blah and works and Word, it's automatically going to start picking up the information. As you can see, I do have a Microsoft Word 2013 document somewhere around. Um, in this Mac, uh, it, it looks for PDFs, mail information that kind of fits that criteria, uh, other information as well. I mean, the notification, the spotlight has been enhanced a lot. 
Uh, another thing that has been enhanced is your iCloud. There's this thing called iCloud now, iCloud Drive, uh, which really works well with your iOS 8 devices. Again, this new operating system works well with only iOS 8. And there's certain things that I do, what I actually did on this operating system, and it says, hey, uh, certain things that you're doing like your documents and your data will not work properly if you're not using a device that's iOS 8 compatible. I was like, oh crap. So the iCloud Drive concept is the same thing as a Dropbox, okay? We drop, we drag and drop something into your iCloud Drive and it will get synced up to your other devices and you're constantly able to work on the flow. It's just like a Dropbox. I, I was actually speaking to my IT manager and he made a good concept. It looks like Apple is trying to eliminate the Dropbox concept and trying to eliminate their competition by having this iCloud drive, which is again, uh, it's a possibility that's what they're trying to do. So you never know. Mail, now Mail again, Tim Cook uh, introduced Mail and Mail has been uh, revamped as well tremendously. Uh, one of the things is you got fast switching to email so if you have multiple emails like I do uh, you're able to click to it and it's gonna switch automatically as you can see it's real seamless real fast real quick again it really depends on your machine if your machine is capable of handling the new operating system go for it for me because I'm running a laptop uh, a little older laptop about three year old laptop it's not running in peak performance now one of the best things about the new mail client is that it allows you to insert larger attachments and if you're sending let's say a two gig attachment what it does it actually drops it into the iCloud encrypts it and if the person is the person that you're sending it to has a Mac they're gonna receive the image as is if a, if a PC person is receiving your email that image is actually placed as a link and then it allows the PC person to click on it to download it locally to view the app which is pretty cool one of the cool things that the mail client has is this new cool feature called markup. So I'm actually gonna show you guys what markup is. I, I, I downloaded a little image from my Flickr account, which is, uh, I took this picture at uh, last year's Comic-Con. And as you can see, the picture, the picture is pretty large. So I'm gonna actually show you guys how, what the size of the picture. So the size of the picture is really big. Uh, it's 8.5 megabytes. There's no way in heck that you can send an 8.5 megabytes file to any client or a friend because servers don't normally hand that. Servers hardly handle that kind of size of image. Uh, but the best thing about the new mail client, it actually decrypts it into the iCloud drive like I told you guys and send it right away. One of the cool thing about this is that it has a new feature called markup. And once you click on markup, what it does, it grays everything out and you get a nice little title bar and allows you to mark it up. So let's say, let's mark it up like this. And go, and go, and go, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also add text if you want into your image. So let's click on the T for text. Once you're done, you hit done and it will send it right away to whomever you want. Uh, there is an option that allows you to do more. If you click on the more option, it looks like it opens up your system, your system preferences and it goes into your extension, which is extensions is another cool option that's added within your system preferences with the new operating system, Yosemite. Uh, this is the only thing that I kind of noticed which is new within the system preferences. There's other things that I've noticed, but again, because of an older machine, uh, I think the performance is kind of crappy for me. Uh, so let's close this up. Let's close the mail up. But I'm kind of excited with the mail, the whole fact that it allows you to um, send bigger attachments to other users. Now, another cool feature about uh, the new operating system is Safari. Safari has been enhanced tremendously and I'm kind of liking Safari a lot. Uh, kind of sucks that I, I closed a lot of the windows that I had. Uh, but one of the cool things about Safari now is that the title bar has been enhanced. Meaning the title bar is actually integrated with the operating system, allowing you to search within your operating system for a particular 
uh, for a particular file or it goes to the Wikipedia it goes online which is pretty awesome I, I'm kind of I'm kind of happy about that uh, I know it also has a feature of stackable tabs so this option right here if you click on it show all tabs it gives you like a bird's eye view of all the tabs that you have up and running and the ones that are all consistent or all the same concept like all these tabs right here consists of me looking up to going into the developers site or the Apple C site or the Mac dev site or looking into the release notes for the operating system it, it, it groups everything up into one which is pretty awesome I, I kind of like that uh, from my understanding, uh, the new Safari supports WebGL, Speedy, HTMI, H not HTMI. It supports HTML5 for, for premium video, which is pretty cool. From my understanding, when viewing Netflix and YouTube videos on the battery on your laptop, it's going to last you even longer, up to two hours longer for laptop users when watching videos online, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is another thing that I like about uh, with all these multiple tabs, you're able to scroll side to side. So that's pretty awesome. So it's kind of seamless. You see how everything hides in. I, I like that feature. That's, that's pretty cool. And the last concept is continuity. And I can't really show this concept to you guys because I don't have an Apple device with iOS 8. But some of the cool things about this new feature is that it has a seamless interaction with all devices. Uh, AirDrop works within your Mac OS X, which is pretty awesome. Remember, uh, AirDrop did not work well with Mavericks, but now it does. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be testing. Te pretty soon I'm going to be testing this out with my iOS uh, when I get one of my devices up to uh, up to par. Uh, there's an instant hotspot when your Mac sees your iPhone and it prompts you to connect automatically, which is pretty awesome. You're able to receive. Mac calls from your phone as well as a caller ID and you're able to pick up your call within the operating system which is awesome I cannot wait to get my iPhone up to, uh, I can't wait to get my iPhone upgraded to iOS 8 so I can show you guys that and there's another cool thing you could also dial from your Mac OS 10.10 within your contacts and make calls from your phone which is cool I mean there's a lot of cool features about this I still have to play around with the operating system to see what's the top five or the top three cool features but so far what I like so far about it is the performance battery life looks like it's pretty good so far I lo I'm loving Safari a lot and but I still have to play around with the operating system so to see what's new and what's hot so hopefully you guys enjoyed this first a review of uh, Mac OS X 10.10 Yosemite and if you have any comments leave it by below and I catch you guys on the next one peace out